Okay, guys, I've made up my mind. We'll give uh, Dark Home here the elbow. I don't. I just think that the Pell Stored Stone Tower, where they, I think that's pretty sure that's where they keep Dawn, should be in the hands of a Dane all the time. So uh, we'll give him this, since he's been serving me quite well recently and everything. Uh, can we make him my Castellan? Yes. Figured we should have. Um. See, look, we still have the thing saying it's too big, two to one, even though we control this. It's kind of annoying. But there you go. I might have to give it to him. Maybe I can give it to a uh, one of my like third sons or something once my wife gives birth to the kid. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to save because I don't want the game crashing on me, basically. Oh, we'll see what happens. Hey, nope, my kids. Fork. Shit, I got twins. Twin boys. Sweet. Well, the line, my line of succession is fucking clear. Okay, um, let me think. Her father's name is Anders, so let's say. It's already got one called Anders. Anders and the other one, because they're twins, they have to start with A. There you go, this guy will do. The name of an old sword of the morning. Aaron. Or Aaron, or whatever. It's the name of the, one of the old swords of the morning, and one of them is named after his, uh, his grandfather, I suppose. His mother's father. So yeah, uh, one named after the old sword of the morning, and one named after the grandfather. There you go. I got three sons. Awesome. Hopefully they're all mine. <laughs> she has no lovers other than me, so I'm pretty fucking sure they are. Yeah, Anders is my, uh, Grandfather. Or oh, he was. He won't be for much fucking longer if he keeps uh, screwing everything that moves. <laughs> He's already incapable. It has occurred to me that all of my kids start with A. We've got Arthur, and uh, Anders, and Aaron. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking, what do we do? Military training grounds. I'll go with that first, I think. Just invest a bit in building up Starfall for the coming wars, no doubt. Dawn has basically stayed out of everything thus far, but... Princess Protector's claim on the Stormlands, revolt against the rule of Serene, and war for Prince Tumman's claim on the Stormlands. Basically, the Tyrells rule Westeros right now, come to think of it, since they're, uh... Since they've got Marjorie as the regent, and Joffrey's dead. Hey guys, a bloody interesting turn of events. Marjorie Tyrell has married Prince Doran. The, uh, the mother of the current king on the Iron Throne is married the Prince of Dawn. We'll go to the wedding, sure. Not else, uh, much else going on right now. Like I said, we're just waiting for some interesting stuff to happen. Uh, Restaurants is basically at peace right now. There's a few shit going on, mainly around the Stormlands, like three different factions trying to overthrow the Baratheons there. First door scrutes us warmly. Thank you, Ravnix. Hmm. Princess Serene is dead. I don't suppose I can get away with marrying Arthur to. Nah. Hmm. Maybe if I could make Prince Doran like me a lot more. How far is it off allowing me to do that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. So it's seven against and six in favor. If I could send him a gift. Did I send her a gift? Yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, that's a lot of cash, but I might be able to pull it off if I can make him like me a bit more. Yes, that works. A bit old for Arthur, but I will inherit the... Uh... Try to pull out your best soldier, but eventually he excuses himself and moves on to other guests. Hmm, okay. Didn't go well making him like me. I suppose he's a bit pissed off that I'm trying to steal Dawn from him. He does get this through Marjorie, not sure how well he's going to get doing that. I decided to accept your betrothal, yeah, between Arthur and Nymirista, or Nymirica, or whatever the hell that name is. Hopefully the betrothal holds. Dawn does have a, uh, a tendency to just cancel betrothals when it comes to the female heirs. She's a bit old for Arthur, but it's not too bad. The Lannister King has usurped the Dreadfort from the Boltons and given it to the White Hills. Great, the, for the foresters are fucked in that case. <laughs> if there's any... Uh, that's just gone horribly wrong for the foresters if they still got their beef with... Um, with the foresters and the White Hills and whatnot. How's Winterfell doing? Rickon is fine. He still controls the majority of that. And Rob's kid has most of the Riverlands. Harrenhal's still part of the West for some strange ass reason. Tywin controls that. He's named him Martin. He's got another dwarf in, uh, in command of that. Dawn's risen its forces to attack those guys, apparently. But yeah, if all goes well, I should inherit Dawn by the female line, assuming that no one gets in the way of me. I might even try to... Oh, you can't invite her to, to court until she's... The moment she's of age, I'm going to try and... get her to... Uh, come to my court so that they can't cancel the uh, basically hold a hostage King Mounts of the Handsome from Beyond the Wall yeah, Beyond the Wall controls all of Castle Black now it's only a matter of time before they invade Westeros not that it will go well for them but yeah not much else going on like we said we'll try to keep the uh, the pact between the marriage Betrothal, whatever, between Arthur and uh, the future Princess of Dawn. And then that way, the House Dane will inherit Dawn a lot easier than I had anticipated. The Stormlands is still doing stuff. There you go. Prince Doran likes me a lot more now. Alright, guys. Here we are. Um, right now, the Mance Raider has invaded Westeros. Not sure how well this is going to go, but a minute ago, we could see his armies, and he had, like, three full stacks of, uh, like, 22k each. So the Wilding forces, while numerous, can be beaten if you have enough, you know, forces to beat the crap out of them. But, uh, we shall see. Arthur here's got Diligent, which is nice. Should go a long way to, uh, make him that much better. I'm pretty sure Dawn might raise some banners in a moment to either... Or, or I'm, I'm kind of hoping they'll just stay neutral and stay out of it, because if... 
if the Iron Throne falls to the Wildlings, then everyone's just going to rebel, which would be good for us. Nope, it would appear that we are going to rally the forces and uh, fight our way out of all this. Alright, if you want to, uh, we'll rally the banners and camp at Starfall waiting for the rest of the uh, Dornish forces to arrive. But uh, Edric will march north and I'll stick with the Dornish forces and hope that they actually do something. What the hell does Dorn control that region there? I hate how the game does that sometimes. It's completely retarded. I mean, look, fucking Flint's finger, Widow's Watch, sorry, is part of the Reach. That makes sense. Yeah, things are not going well in the north. Rickon is of age and married to Marcella. <laughs> Typical. Well, not kind of a weird, but there you go. How's Rob's kid doing? Eddard. He's not married to anyone just yet, but all the same. My son Quinton hanging in there. At least the line of succession for the Danes is uh, quite secure. No matter what happens. What are you trying to do? Hmm. Minus 40 already. Not looking great for them, but all the same. We'll go up to Skyreach. Edric can lead the host. Not exactly the best of commanders on our hands, but we'll deal with it. Like I said, uh, Darkstar is in Starfall training my kids with 11% chance to increase their combat progress, which is decent. I have no idea if we'll be able to get north and do any considerable damage to the Wildlings, but I'm kind of hoping not. I'm, kind of, I'm hoping that they'll win and then we can rebel against them, because there's not a place in Westeros that's going to remain under Wildling rule. And when they win, they don't just get the north, which would make more sense. They get fucking everything. They take the Iron Throne, which is just hilarious. But, you know, all the same. Uh, believe it or not, it's, I found in the past that it's actually faster to go to Yornwood and then go up via the uh, Bone Way rather than the Prince's Path. Who do you want to be training, my guy? A priest with no military skill. No thanks. I will get... Hmm. The Dark Star could educate him, but he's got some traits that I don't particularly want Arthur inheriting. I wonder, could I like... Sh hmm. Yeah, and as it, I would send him to his to his grandfather, but he's incapable right now. So he wouldn't do too well teaching the kids. Uh, he's not too bad. Stone Dornish, Faith of the Seven. actually send it to be tutored by Barrett and Selmy. But uh, I'd kind of rather have a Dornishman teaching him. Hmm. That's what we'll do. In the interest of future relations with the Targaryen dynasty, which the Danes are somewhat loyal to, I suppose, being Dornish. We'll, uh, we'll send Arthur along with a uh, personal elite guard of like 30 or 40 men to uh to marine to be tutored by Barristan and Selmy under Queen Daenerys assuming that he accepts hopefully he'll be safe over there in Essos yeah there you go 
Okay, so Arthur's off to uh, sail across Westeros, should the worst happen to uh, Westeros itself, being attacked by the wildlings and whatnot. Hey, my aunt has had a kid, who is my cousin, who will inherit that region when she gets a kid, anyway. Uh, Edric, head straight for King's Landing, buddy. Hmm? Dawn of Sand has do Hmm. Uh, one of Oberyn's... Oberyn's bloody, uh... Vipers. I'm gonna turn around. Oh, no, but I've already got, uh, 13k turning around. To deal with those little tiny force of mercenaries that are appearing. We'll continue up to King's Landing. But actually, every single one of the Dornish forces is now turning back. So, we'll turn back as well. I don't want to go ahead without... Uh... Okay, yeah. They're all turning back because there's a lot of more forces than I thought there would be. So, yeah. We'll turn back and assist... Eh, my wife is pregnant again. A daughter this time, hopefully. Just because fucking we, we haven't had a daughter yet at all. <laughs> it's all just been sons, not like I'm complaining. I have a master of horse. Excellent. And I'll make my ambition to have a daughter, since I don't have one as of yet. How's Arthur doing? He's already got Honest from Barristan, which is good. Who better to teach him? Who better to teach any kid, really? <laughs> Especially one that I kind of want to be the next Sword of Mourning, if at all possible. Not possible, since Barristan's only a skilled fighter due to his old age. Alright, we have cornered the, uh, the Rebellious Douches. 2nd of June. I'm going to get there first. And if they come and attack me, I'll have the advantage of the hills. Oh, okay, we're going in. They have a, there's a forest there. I don't see the forest, but sure. Whatever you say, game. Come on, let's arrive for some action. A little bit of action. Ah, we're not going to arrive. Just at the, like the last fucking milliseconds. I should have just stayed on Ghost Hill. And then intercepted them. Or Sam has been imprisoned. We'll make our way back over to Yornwood, but with the nine minus ninety one percent with the wildlings, ninety nine percent. It would appear that we're about to become the under <laughs> under the rule of wildlings, which is it's not that bad actually, because um we'll then everyone will rise up hopefully. Yes, we have a daughter, a sickly daughter, but she's quick, and if she's anything like her mother, she'll be stubborn as fuck. <laughs> Come on, love. Uh, my mother's Ilya, so we'll call her Ilya. Ilya Dane. This is my mother's kind of... She's kind of a bitch, really, but... It's kind of a good thing that uh, we're going as it is, because... Severely wounded, yeah, yeah, we're doing charity. Okay. It's kind of a good thing if the Wildlings win but now, because Dawn hasn't lost any troops. Well, not a lot of troops in its uh, endeavour thus far. Although sitting on 99% is really quite annoying. What is it doing? All they have to do is literally take, like, one region. 
There you go. They're hundred percent, so they've won unless we miraculously kill a bunch of them, which is unlikely to happen. And I'm hoping Prince Doran declares independence. I've lost just. What happened? Alright, the, the Wildling has taken the north. Okay, that, that must be a new thing. In, in the past, the Wildlings have always... Uh... Yeah, in the past, the Wildlings, when they've declared war on the Iron Throne, they took the Iron Throne. Alright, go back to Starfall. But he hasn't even really got the entire north because a bunch of them didn't even do much. Yeah, the Wildling controls the kind of kingdom of the north, but not really. Okay, that was, that was a lot of anti-Germanic than I thought it was going to be. I was hoping that they... That's what happened last time. The last time I saw the Wildlings beat... Um, last time I saw the Wildlings beat the Iron Throne, they took the entire Iron Throne and we had Mance Raider as King of Westeros. <laughs> they must have changed that because it was a little bit silly. I think... Yeah, I think bloody... Varys and Selmy died, unfortunately. With him dead, who will take over his tutelage? Uh, Archibald. Yeah, the Yornwood. Since, technically speaking, they are kind of related. He's half Yornwood and everything was. So, yeah, we'll let him take it. Continue his training. And hopefully Arthur's cool over there. No idea what Westeros is going to do. Likely declare war on the northern section. And they won't be able to stop him since, well... <laughs> what happened to the fucking high points? To the... They aren't lords of anything. The high point, the uh, White Hills have been kicked out of their. Uh... Yep, Tyrion's making a vibe for the Iron Throne, apparently. Yep, Roos is claiming the Dreadfort. What's Dawn marching for? Defending against Lord Tyrion. Yeah, Tyrion. I'd rather have the current Lannister kid on the throne than Tyrion, who's just a pure blood Lannister and has absolutely no claim to it whatsoever. I always find it kind of stupid that Tyrion has gets any claim to the Iron Throne at all, because he has none. But Prince Doran is supporting them, so I shall do the same. We'll go up to Skyreach, and then we'll wait for the rest of the Dornish forces to rally, and then we'll go against the West, I suppose. He was slain by some old bl uh, Bywater dude. But Mance, Mance was, uh, Mance, Mance, I don't know why I call him Mance, Mance Raider, but it was never, uh, awesome or anything. She's 
being tooted by someone's shit. We'll go over to Yawnwood. I always call it Yawnwood. It's just a fucking habit. I know it's probably not Yawnwood, but all the same. Anders, you should be groomed for command. I have the money to do that. And we'll quick save because the game has been dodgy lately. If you go over like half speed, then it makes the game kind of unstable. I've got a lot of piety. Just noticed. Not entirely sure why. Elia is sickly. Hold in there, girl. Aaron, I can't really afford for you to be groomed for command, but we'll do it anyway. And I'll hopefully get some mash uh, money. All right, we'll move north, up with these guys. And have a lack of funds happen to us, because it's annoying. shall continue up to King's Landing. We'll intercept some of these morons. What's the Reach doing? The Reach is not helping its own grandson. Stupid of it. Hmm. Okay, I got two of my kids that need training. I don't particularly want the Dark Star to be training them because, uh, reasons. Who is of the King's Guard right now? Since we're in pretty much decent terms with the Iron Throne. Uh, Jamie has Oathkeeper. He's not too bad, but he's got Dishonorable, so we don't particularly want him training my kids. I could get Loras to train him. Jamie's the better option, but he's also the brother of the current of the person that's currently against the Iron Throne. And hasn't he lost his arm? What was that? No, that was that was during the uh, yeah different thing. Jamie is the better option, going trait wise. Yeah, sure. Might become Kingslander, though. If Loras takes it, they won't become... I'll send Aaron to be tutored by the Kingsguard. And I'll find some other family to tutor... Uh... Yeah. Okay, I was going to say I, I could send um, him to be tutored by the same person that's tutoring Arthur, but... Interesting, interesting, interesting. Therese, you're completely useless. 